Hi and welcome to another video. So what I quickly want to talk about in this video is Meshroom. Uh, I've downloaded Meshroom a couple of days ago. I don't really know anything about photogrammetry uh, but I just wanted to have a quick play with it. So you can download this software before I talk about it from the Alice Vision website. It's completely free. Uh, you can just download it from this page here by clicking on the relevant option and it's got this nice tab here uh, which tells you uh, how the photogrammetry pipeline works and what all the different bits do. So feel free to read that. Uh, so what I've done then, I've gone out this evening, I've gone to the woods, I've found this little hut, and I've just walked around it and taken 37 images. And this is all done using an iPhone uh, XR, I think, so iPhone 10. So it doesn't have a LiDAR sensor on it. This is just done off these images and you can see the pixel size, uh, 4,000 by 3,000 odd down here. So as I say, I've walked around that building and I've taken a series of images. I've chucked those onto the PC and I've just dragged and dropped them from the folder into this uh, tab on the left. It recognises all those images and then I've pressed start and I've gone away for an hour or so. And what it's done, it's just worked through this workflow at the bottom. So it started here and it's just quickly uh, moved through this pipeline. You can see the structure from Motion 1 is here. So this is where it creates the point cloud. And then it goes on to do uh, something called a depth map, depth map, whatever that is. And then finally, it does meshing. So it makes a mesh, which I'll show you in a second. And then it textures that mesh. So what that looks like then, uh, here we've got the structure from motion. So this is where it's created a point cloud. And it's also put all of these uh, images into the location that they were taken as I walked uh, around the hut. Uh, we can also look at the perspective of each image. So by pressing these two buttons over here, clicking on uh, each one, it shows me what could be seen from that angle and how it's done the pixel matching. So if we turn that off, navigate in, turn off the structure from motion, we'll turn on the mesh. So this is that 3D model that's been created uh, from those pixel values. Again, no LiDAR sensor on this phone. Uh, so there's a little model for you and then finally it's textured that So if anyone's done any 3d modeling before um, perhaps if you used a bit of software like uh, City engine or SketchUp to do some modeling uh, You'll agree that it might or you might agree that it takes a long time to make these models. It can be difficult to texture so While this takes a long time as well depending on what your system requirements are you can get funky results like this uh, if you can get good results, then this can be a very uh, interesting way of creating these models. So this is Meshroom. There's another piece of software. Uh, you can look, watch a YouTube video on it called um, Mesh Lab. And from the demos I've seen on that, I've not used it yet. You can pull this mesh into Mesh Lab and use it to edit it and cut out these horrible uh, little effects you get from vegetation and things like that. So I'm probably going to do that. And then I'm going to pull that into a bit of software like City Engine uh, and see what I can do with that mesh. Okay, so that's Meshroom. Thank you for listening. Uh, stay tuned for future videos. And don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe.